Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show how to add the HRE flags on the WordPress websites. And basically, I will show with two options, either with Wiglot and also with WPML. Basically, you just have to install Wiglot in the case of Wiglot. If you go here to add new, you just search for Wiglot and like any other plugin, you can just install and activate the first thing that we will, Wiglot will ask is for the API key that you can get just by registering for free. And by giving the website details, you will get the API key that you can add here on the API key section. You can set out your original language and the destination languages. And once it's given, you can just go to your website and just by updating, you will be seeing and watching here the language switcher with the respective languages that you choose. And that's it for adding the HRE flags. You don't have to do any more. If we go to watch the code here, we can see that we have the title. We have the description. And here as the property of local, we can see that the content is given in English USA. And if we go back down here, we can see that for each language that we have on our Wiglot WordPress website, the HRE flanks are added automatically. So you don't have to do any other additional coding. You don't have to really worry about this because it's done automatically. And in this way, Wiglot will help you on the SEO site to tell crawlers that there are different versions of the main site, but in different languages. So we can go here back to other language. We have the content in the respective language. And if we read the code again, we can see that the title, the meta description is in the respective language, in this case, Portuguese. We are telling again, this is Portuguese of Brazil and the HRE flags. So basically you don't have to do anything more. You just have to install and activate with Wiglot. You can do it this for free to get one language and up to 2000 words. But of course, if you need more features or more words, you will need a better plan. The other option that it's WPML and with WPML is practically the same process. You will have to download WPML from the website after acquiring one of the plans. The, the one that I mostly recommend is the CMS, which is more, more complete than the blog one. Basically, because here we have the different features that are included on the CMS plan, such as the automatic translation, advanced translation editor, the multilingual blocks mainly recommended for small websites. But if you have a small website, then probably Translate Press, it's another plugin that can help. So once you're registered and logging in and you have downloaded the files, you can go here to Plugins and Add New. And here by uploading the plugin, you can search for it and uploading. After doing the setup wizard of WPML, which I have already shown, I will leave also the link to the video how to install WPML. You don't have to do anything more. Just start translating that content. And once the content is translated in your website, for example, I have here the page in different multiple language. And if I check out again, the process of the HRE flanks, which is the main purpose of the video, we can see here that it's given here upper in an upper area of the page. WPML, it's stating that this page is in English. There is a version in Spanish, German, Italian, Portuguese, and so on. Therefore, there is no more uh, work to be done in the case of the HRE flags. Also for SEO purposes, here we can check out the title. And if there is a description, the description of that page and the English US in case of that language. So basically that's the thing that you have to do. You just either have to install Wiglot or WPML. They will do this automatically. 
there's no more work to be done, just the translation work. Wiglot, which is an easier plugin to be installed and the whole process of translation requires less time. In that part might be a better option than WPML. But if you're a content website that you're aiming to have plenty of text, then WPML could be a better option. It's a matter of balancing and questioning which could be a better option. So if you have so many doubts, don't hesitate to write, write down in the comments and probably I can guide you to help to decide which option is better for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.